Hi, I'm Murray Mexted, Managing Director of the International Rugby Academy, and we're here at the Sports and Rugby Institute in Palmerston North. The Sports and Rugby Institute was designed specifically for rugby. The shape of the building is the silver fern. It's built for a program like ours. We have a small number of people, and they all live in, and it's a camp environment, and uh, eating, sleeping, and drinking rugby. Well, I always say it is the number one academy in the world, and I, I believe that. I mean, who else brings this level of expertise to the table at a one-to-one -one ratio? That's the extraordinary part about it. I knew that when the game went professional, it would be just a matter of time before we got swallowed up by the countries with the big economies and numbers of players. So I knew that we had to have a way of transferring our intellectual property to the next brigade so that New Zealand rugby would stay up there with, with the best. And so my target has always been to empower players to develop the best young rugby players in the world year in, year out, and the best young coaches. To do that, you need the highest level of expertise. And so what we try and do is bring in a specialist in every role, uh, whether it's the breakdown, the tackle area, whether it's positional coaching, whether it's counter-attack, space, whatever. We get the best we can and we want to pass that knowledge on. We've got Greg Somerville um, doing scrums and Mike Cron comes in in a couple of days time to add to that I suppose. And we've got Reuben Thorne running the line outs and, uh, and leadership too is a very big part of this. Uh, and a guy like Rodney Soyalo for example, working on that tackle area breakdown, he's a master in that area. And if you remember him playing, he was a master when he played. He's now transformed into a coach who can implement that system and to demonstrate it and to grow the players around that area. Danny Lee's the technical coach at halfback level and we have Christian Cullen that does fullback and Jeff Wilson that does the wings. We've got Peter Alatini on this course. So it's a masterclass really right across the board. The results of course are the proof in the pudding. The last year in which New Zealand won the Rugby World Cup, nine of our graduates were in the All Black side. That's an impressive uh, proof that it's working. So it's an evolving picture, rugby coaching and it's a demanding uh, and often thankless task. But I think when you get this sort of knowledge, um, then it becomes easier. When, you, when, you, when the, what you're doing is not working, you have an opportunity to pull something else that you've learned recently and try that. You know, you've got some, something to fall back on. And I think we need that. It's a wonderful facility here. This is the green room. So if the weather's not as good as it is today, we come inside and we've got the height and the area to do disciplines, you know, like line outs, for example, uh, inside. And the rest of the facility is designed for rugby, you know, where the shape of the door handle is a rugby ball, the, the carpet's got silver ferns on it, the wallpaper's pictures of old, old rugby players like me. We start at 13 years of age here at the SRI. So 13 to 15 is an intermediate level. So we're educating them, putting them on the road. 16 to 18, we're finding out how good they are and 18 plus is all about high performance. And these are the guys that go on and play professional rugby. Yeah, I often hear people saying that you need a long time to develop team culture. Well, I disagree re really strongly with that. I mean, we, in our high performance course, we've developed fantastic culture within three weeks. But you've got to have the right people and the right environment and the right knowledge. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, the rugby has a sort of a fellowship and uh, and you build that when you're in a team env environment. And to have 15 players doing what, what everybody wants them to do is a great achievement, but you've got you've to get them together and they've all got to be on the same side. Um, no friction, everyone working together. And, and I think we get that here, we achieve that. That's the, the whole idea. And then that carries on into life. It, uh, it turns you know, young people into better, better people. All of a sudden this rush from North America and South America and Asia is upon us and uh, I can only see it growing. I mean the growth of rugby in second tier nations all over the world is, is, uh, is happening and uh, that's the one thing we provide is the thing that they don't have and that's real expertise.